the goal, a deep personal relationship with the Creator. The goal of this life, therefore, is to become a friend of the Creator, or failing that, a committed servant, and enjoy life with Him, share life with Him, learn with Him, learn from Him, and represent Him on earth. In return, He will bless you, heal you, give you wisdom to get wealth, give you favor with other human beings, etc. If you succeed, you will be granted to sit on a throne in heaven for eternity with great authority, great esteem, great honor, great glory, and rule some part of the universe forever. It is possible that you may not qualify as a friend, which is the highest rank, but you will have the opportunity to qualify as a wise steward, the most junior rank of those who please the Almighty, or slightly more senior, a good and faithful servant, or more senior still, an overcomer, a more junior person to that, a friend, but also on a throne in heaven, with great prestige, esteem, and glory, and authority. If you are filled with Father Spirit and continue to worship people or objects such as Jesus, Buddha, the Bible, or the Quran, you can still make it into heaven. But until you worship and strive to become friends of the Almighty directly, your access to His deep wisdom and to serve in greater ways will be limited. If you believe but do not qualify for the above ranks and never get filled with Father Spirit, men and women can still qualify as a foolish virgin, a term that applies to men and women equally. If you are filled with the Spirit of the Almighty but worship Jesus and or the Bible or engage in similar sins, you can qualify as an adulterous wife. Again, a term that applies to men and women equally. At least you will still make it into heaven. As a committed believer, it is yours to walk in divine health, divine protection, divine wisdom, divine prosperity, divine peace, etc. And have a deep personal relationship with the Creator in this life and great rewards in the life to come. Once you have conquered sin in your life and climbed close to the top of the mountain, it is also yours to command considerable authority in the spiritual realm on earth, such that in consultation with the Almighty, you can pray and situations on earth can be changed. This is the way to achieve world peace. Why seek a deep relationship? You should seek to develop a deep relationship with the Creator in order to have a personal relationship with Him, to open the door to receive divine wisdom, to qualify to personally offer effective positive prayer and impact on the earth, to help strengthen love and grace on this earth and win against the forces of darkness, to qualify for one of the glorious ranks in heaven for eternity. Note that the Almighty has said, I created human beings, this planet and this universe, for men and women to be my friends, my companions, to explore and learn and develop together. My greatest grief is that almost no person understands this, let alone seek such a relationship with me. If you make a real effort to seek relationship with the Almighty, the rewards in the life to come are huge. A glorious resurrected body, great prestige, great authority, and a permanent close relationship with the Creator and with Yeshua, Jesus.